In this week's Tuesday tip, I'm going to show you how to create both basic and intermediate Pareto charts in Tableau. First, let's talk about what the Pareto principle is. Most people know of it as the 80-20 rule. Some people know it as the law of the vital few and also the principle of factor sparsity. This definition comes from Wikipedia and I have the source link there. But basically it means that 80% of the effect comes from 20% of the causes. So let's take a look at how to build these in Tableau. So first we're gonna start by connecting to the Superstore sales data set. And what we wanna look at here is, let's put customer name in the rows and let's say profit in the, in, the, uh, in the columns. Okay, looks like I've got that backwards, so let me go ahead and flip it. And the first thing you need to do when you build a Pareto chart in Tableau is go ahead and sort descending by whatever your dimension is. Next, I like to go ahead and choose uh, and fit to the entire view. And you see basically everything just gets squished together. The next step is to create is to right click on your measure and choose add table calculation. And this is going to be a two part calculation. The first calculation is a running total and you're going to do a running total across the table. And then you're going to perform a secondary calculation, which is the percent of total. So again, it's the running total and then the percent of total and hit OK. And that's it. You've got your Pareto chart. Super simple. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to go ahead and add a reference line on here at 80% so that my users can, can uh, make it easier for them. So I'm going to add a reference line, set it as a constant at 0.8. I don't like to show the value and just hit OK. So now your, your readers can easily hover over this mark and see what customer is around the 80% mark. Excellent. So that's, that's the simple Pareto. So let's go ahead and double duplicate that sheet and we're going to build something slightly more complicated. This time what we want to do is we want to have, we have our 80% on the uh, Y axis and we want to calculate the 20% on our X axis. Again, we're trying to determine do 80, does 80% 80 of our profit come from 20% of our customers. So what we need to do now is we need to add customer name to the detail shelf and then uh, I'm going to right click on customer name on my column shelf and I'm going to change that to a count distinct. And I get a single line here. That's not exactly what I was looking for. And that's because we need to change the, uh, I need to add my table calculation to my customer. So I'm gonna right click on my customer name, my count distinct of customer name, choose add table calculation. And again, I'm gonna use the same two part calculation, a running total and a percent of total. And I want it to run along customer name. So make sure you change both of those to customer name. And we're starting to get something, doesn't quite look right. So we need to also change, we need to right click on our profit measure and tell it to also compute using customer name. All right, so this looks much better. So, uh, but you notice that tab, because I am using two measures, Tableau automatically basically created a scatter plot. So I'm gonna change my mark type to bars. And then what I like to do is I like to uh, on uh, uh, I like to also add this same uh, dimension to my color shelf. I'm sorry, the same measure to my color shelf, so I can begin to color this kind of the 80/20 rule. And I'm going to edit my color shelf. I'm going to make it. Uh, let's do orange and blue. And I'm going to go ahead and set the center at 0.8. So that means everything to the left of 80% uh, will be orange and everything else will be blue. And hit OK. And, oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. This should actually be, the center should be at 0.2, not 0.8. Okay, there we go. So now we get this nice, uh, we get this nice uh, advanced Pareto chart. We need to go ahead and add a reference line here for 20%. So let's choose constant, make it 0.2, hide the label. Hit OK, and now you can see that actually in this case, in this data set, it looks like we're, uh, the Pareto principle doesn't quite work out. It actually is more around 22% uh, of customers make up about 80% of our sales, but it's pretty close. So again, uh, this is an intermediate uh, Pareto chart, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up on the blog. Thanks.